welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Claire Kembabazi. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Welcome back. If, uh, for the new people, you can please like, subscribe. You can click the not notification bell. So it can let you know whenever I upload a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. Let me get into the video. Um, today's video, hmm, I had written notes for it. We try and talk slowly because I realized, see me again, I realized I talk very fast. So I want to try and talk slowly today. So anyway, yeah, I'd organize my notes for this video, but I left them at work. So I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind. Today, I really, really want to try and make this video short for you guys, my subscribers. So that if you've never gone to get into the end of my videos, maybe today you'll, get, you'll make it to the end. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this video is about like the pressures of getting married. As an African child, as an African girl, I'm Ugandan, born and raised in Uganda. So I, yeah, I, I think I can be able to maybe say something about it. Um, one thing I wanted to say about this topic is the irony of life. How when we are kids, um, when we are still in primary, when we are in high school, our parents, most of our parents anyway, don't want us to interact with boys, um, make them our friends. Um, talk to boys on phone, write letters to boys. Because I remember in high school, I was in a single school all the six years. Even that story time of when I changed schools, I was in an all girls school. I had never studied with boys because obviously my parents were protective. It makes sense later on, but I think still we should be able to be friends with boys. Okay, we have relatives, cousins, but you want also your buddies, your friends. Yeah, so it's so ironic how they don't want us to be friends with boys when we're like in that teenage age. Then when we become adults, they're like, hmm, when I bring a man, when I'm getting married. Now, me who is, I'm a Westerner from Uganda, me who is this, they will be asking me, hmm, when is the queen Jira? When is this? And you're like, you guys have been shielding me literally my whole life. Now, out of the blue, you want me to get married, you want a party what the hell like it's 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 confusing like when you think about it as a daughter me because i'm not a much yet a mom when i become a mom I'll, I'll i'll understand so yeah that's one funny thing about marriage in africa another thing i want to talk about is also us ourselves pressuring ourselves you find girls most times just pressure their, themselves because of seeing their friends getting married in uni or even just people getting pregnant and then their parents force them to get married. It might be the, girl, the guy's family or the chick's family pressuring them to get married. Then you find maybe their friends are like, hey, mama. Meanwhile, it's just feeling jealousy because you attended the party. It was so nice. They had nice clothes. The co was wow. Because this is the co in Uganda is just another level. Tailors on another level. Babes are dressing like they are going for the Oscars. People are going for their friends' wedding, looking nice. Makeup artists like. Uganda is becoming really so fly. So yeah, I think, anyway, in my opinion, I feel like people just see weddings and imagine I also want to get married. Oh my God, could see your friend um, planning the wedding. You're part of the planning. Maybe you have made and you're like, oh my God, I also want to be a, 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 a bride, which I don't think is right. I don't think you should get married because you see other people getting married. You yourself, are you ready? Are you ready mentally? I'm not even I'm not married, so I can't even say much. But from the married people that I know, my friends who have told me, they're like, you need to take your time, you don't need to rush. Getting into a relationship, getting excited, then tell the guy, I want to get married and listen this time. Or you find a guy and tells the chick, um, I want to get married, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know why we are pressuring each other, why we are pressuring ourselves, yet we are youth. Like, if you think about it, um, there's a common thing, I've been seeing it um, so often these days, of everyone has their own time. Like, my time is not your time, and your time is not my time. You may get successful at 20 years, may I'll maybe get successful like at 30 years. If you remember the guy of KFC, opened that started KFC when he was, I think, like 60 years. So guys, your time might be when you're like 60 years. <laughs> Not to cut anyone, not to cut myself, but you never know God's plan for your life. You weren't even supposed to ever get married. But people are there, they're under pressure. 
and uh, as we keep growing older obviously more and more of our friends are getting married You're like oh my god i have like five friends who are married i'm the only one what am i going to do i don't think that's necessary i think you should date in my opinion i feel like people should date yes some people get married after one year after two months after three months after six months after ten years after five years and you you never know what will happen anyway god's plan is not our plan we plan and they say we plan and god laughs so there's some people who have dated for like 10 years got and married and the marriage didn't work some people have dated for three months got and married and they are still happy happily married <laughs> happily happily married so you, you 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 never know i guess like there's no formula so yeah actually i'm i'm 26 years old and I have a few friends who are married and I don't think I feel any pressure. I don't. But for, for all, like for all you know, they have dated their people, girlfriend or boyfriend, husband or wife for like three years, four years, five years. They would be in my relationship that long and I was there. Like I want to get married and what. Do you know their financial situation? They might, they might have their house. It's already built. They're just going to move in and live a good life you want to get married rent you have no money you're not cover at your job like i think there are very many things we ignore or oh, we even see people very happy posting nice pics what going to dubai going for trips i don't know what's what the details of their relationships are i feel like we shouldn't succumb to this pressure even some people oh, don't post pictures very often on instagram because they say instagram has pressure pressure to post nice things people only post when they have traveled or when they're in a nice place which is fine that's your decision but i don't think you should do it because of pressure i feel like you should post that picture because i feel beautiful you're like oh i love this pic i think i want people to see it i love this video that i made i want to post you know those videos people post with some kind of music in the background what running on the beach as long as you feel it's good to you post it i don't think you should be any like oh my god so and so did this i also want to be cool like her i don't i don't think that's that's good um the last thing i think i'm just going to say a few things that my video is short the last thing i want to say about marriage is that um it's that um when you get married to someone i i'm not married but i, I just like giving poor advice <laughs> when you get married to someone i feel like you should have gotten to know each other you should have quoted you've had your time of arguments you've had your time of happiness you guys have like you've been through some not shit shit of like someone was broke about what or like bad things i'm just mean like you should have seen each other at your worst at your very worst not very, i don't know what i'm saying okay at your worst and also at their best you've gone through quarrels you've gotten to know each other with time you're like this one likes this like i said in the other previous video um do you know your partner's love language do you know how to settle disputes with your partner have you plan uh, have you and your partner ever like planned for fine your finances paying rent paying bills um who knows more finances than the other all these different things that we never think of because when i was reading that book <laughs> what things i wish i knew before i got married i think there's so many things that we do not realize i feel like we should take your time there's no rush we are still young unless i don't know we are different people anyway i'm just talking to those who might want to know my advice but i think that we should you should take your time there's no need to rush you're not running a race no one is going to ring a bell that you've delayed. If you're going to ask me when I'm getting married, but I'm just like, I'm waiting for the bell. I'm waiting for the bell. I'm waiting for the bell. Because <laughs> honestly, why, why do people ask you like when you reach a certain age, like you're in your mid twenties, you have a job, what? You have a guy. They're like, when I'm getting married, what we are ready, then we all be there like we're waiting for you. You next. I told my friend, I'm waiting for you. Then we'll be after that. You got married last year, but I was joking. <laughs> Those things of you next. After you finished, I'll be just after you. That you got married. Now I'm here. She may be waiting for me. But next, no sis. <laughs> it was a joke. So I think um. We shouldn't what was i talking about we shouldn't pressure each other we should get to know each other take your time 
learn to know someone, learn to love them, learn to know that you can actually live without them. Like if you get into an argument and your heart is there, you're unsettled, what am I going to do, blah, blah, blah. Imagine you get married to this person and they have to go away for like a month. Are you going to die? You have no, yes, I want you, but I don't need you. A need is different from a want. I don't want to get into that. But needs, I mean, sorry, I need you. No, yeah, it's I want you, but I don't need you. Hmm? Yes. Because I need is like a basic need. Like if I don't have food, I need food, I'm going to die. But there is like, I want a job. If I don't have a job, I won't die. I will live and life will go on. You hear So, yeah. Those are a few things I wanted to just say about this small topic. I hope you enjoyed the small chat i've had with you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please click that subscribe button don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i put up a new video thank you guys for your support and your love i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys yeah i love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye